Did you already experience an ice pick headache? Hopefully not. But if you did, and you would like to know how to relieve an ice pick headache, you are in the right place. Secondary stabbing headaches are often associated with herpes zoster, meningiomas, tumors originating in the meningeal cells, stroke and multiple sclerosis. Ice pick headache is an endomethacin responsive headache. Up to 35% of patients with endomethacin treatment have no significant benefit. Other treatment options include gabapentin, cyclooxygenase 2 inhibitors, melatonin, and external hand warming. The bottom line is that primarily stabbing headaches do not usually need therapy. However, sometimes the seizures can be very frequent as well as very severe. And up to 200 times a day. The symptoms also have a massive impact on the overall quality of life of the person concerned, and of course something has to be done about it. Then the attending physician should initiate treatment with the NSAID endomethacin, which is effective in more than 65% of cases. The appropriate dose is 25 to 50 mg daily, with proton pump inhibitors, for example, having proven effective in protecting the stomach. Gabapentin can also be effective if endomethacin does not help sufficiently and do it in increments of 300 mg until the stitch headache goes away. However, a large proportion of children and adolescents with headaches do not react to medication at all. This is often due to psychological problems that have not been recognized and treated properly. This is another reason why there are very negative effects on the quality of life of young patients. For this purpose, cognitive behavioral therapy and mindfulness exercises can improve the situation of those affected. Many patients and experts also swear by caffeine as an effective remedy for headaches. Because caffeine improves blood flow in the brain. Some sufferers also like to drink ginger tea. The use of melatonin and thermal biofeedback methods, hand warming, are also interesting. Incidentally, recent research shows that endomethacin, as a powerful analgesic, is an important adjunct to antiviral therapy, especially in outpatient, non-critical COVID-19 patients without signs of a cytokine storm.